So coming to South Asian neighborhood, do you think there would be a change in policy when it comes to Bangladesh? We saw the tweet by uh, Donald Trump just few days before elections where he condemned the minorities attack in Bangladesh. So how do you see that? Well, it, it's uh, it's it was interesting that that tweet took place. He's not shown uh, enormous interest in Bangladesh before. I can't uh, uh, attribute that to any particular uh, person. Maybe, maybe somebody suggested that he do it. Uh, whether he really is interested in the issue and plans to do anything, I think remains to be seen. I do not personally believe it's high on his list of priorities. Right. Uh, so, so Trump has been mentioning about how ridiculously Biden administration has dealt with the two ongoing wars, uh, the Russia, Ukraine and Israel, Gaza. In, the, in his victory speech, also, he in, indicated one of the major policy decisions he will make will likely about working to end wars around the world. Uh, since you have been his NSA, how do you read Trump's mind dealing with these conflicts once he takes the office? Well, he doesn't really know how he's going to resolve them. I think what he really wants to do is <clears throat> simply get them off the table. Uh, he views them as Biden's wars. He has also said in his campaign rallies, if he had been president, the wars never would have taken place. Of course, that kind of statement is neither provable nor disprovable. Uh, but but he he just wants the, the Ukraine war to be over. He doesn't really care what the end result is. I think that's very uh, troubling from the Ukraine perspective. And I understand that there was a conversation uh, a few hours ago between uh, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and Donald Trump. I suspect Trump said something to him like, do what you need to do on Iran uh, and its nuclear weapons program, but get this thing resolved by January the 20th, which I don't think can happen. But I suspect that's what they said. And I would just, if I could make one point about the fact that uh, Netanyahu was the first foreign leader, apparently, to speak with Trump uh, since the election. Uh, little free advice can't be a bad thing to get on the phone. It's, uh, if it's too late in India tonight, uh, the prime minister could do it tomorrow. But I know he's issued a statement, but a, but a call. They know each other. They've spoken many times, met together. Uh, I think a call would be would be a about Iran. What about Trump's Iran policy? You know, Trump pulled out from the Iran uh, pulled out from the Iran deal, uh, jeopardizing overall trade ties with the Persian Gulf country. Would there would would there be any change when it comes to his uh, policy towards Iran? Well, I expect it will be the same, at least in the short term, because again, he views the Iran nuclear deal as a uh, the 2015 deal is something that the Obama administration came up with and and that was the principal reason he wanted to get out of it i think there were a lot of important strategic reasons to get out of it but we got out of it and i think he sees biden's efforts to go back into the the deal as as badly flawed which they are and i think i think he'll reject it so uh, but i also don't put it beyond trump if at some point uh, the Iranians reached out to try and have a negotiation. He came very close in 2019 to meeting with then uh, uh, Iranian Foreign Minister Javed Zarif. Uh, and if the Iranians were clever enough, if that regime was clever enough, which I don't think it is, they too would reach out and say, we should have the Supreme Leader meet with President uh, Trump in Geneva or Vienna or someplace like that.